I've gotten so many questions from you on what I use to keep my Gizzy nice and bright and white and the silky coat on dudes. So I'm going to show you what I do as I give them a bath in the RV. Izzy hates her face in the water, so I use these calming wipes and around her head. Of course I use the shampoo as well, but these are safe for by her eyes and it's a natural product, so and it calms her down. Okay, so next I'm going to use this on her. It helps um, bring out any kind of impurities and give her skin moisture. I fill up the tub or the sink and just kind of let her let it sit on her skin for about four or five minutes. If you can get your dog to sit still long enough. It also has a odor controller, I think, in this one. Either the shampoo does or this does. But I'll tell you what, Gizzy has always been a stinky kind of dog. I've never had as much funk from Doodle, but I find that letting Doodle Izzy sit in the tub with this on helps with her funk. She kind of smells like a taco sometimes. Sometimes we have taco dogs and we've got to clean them up because then the house smells like a lion's den. It conditions the skin with minerals. Uh, it exfoliates the skin to remove impurities like I told you. And it also has aloe vera in it. Most of these products, like I've told you, and if you guys followed us, you know that I'm a big, big stickler for natural products and um, things that are healthy for my dog, healthy for the environment. And this is 100% biodegradable and safe for the dogs and the environment. I have found this is the only product that helps with the redness and irritation that Gizzy gets from her outside allergies and the grass. All right guys, this is the key to keeping your baby white and fluffy like a cloud. You need brightening shampoo. You need to be careful when you're doing a whitening shampoo because some of them have harsh chemicals that can not only hurt your dog, but it's not good for the environment. This is 100% biodegradable and safe for your dog. Oh wait, she's blue. <laughs> the blue will get rid of the yellow. It's like when you have white hair and you go to a salon and you tell them, hey, my hair is turning grayish, orangey or whatever. They use a color in it to offset the color that you want. So if you want a bright white, they use the blue to offset the yellow. Usually I think I, I buy it at Petco, but there is no Petco's around here, so I have had to order it online. And I also want to tell you that this stuff, while it is natural and a lot of it is uh, biodegradable, most of it is organic, um, it's also safe for puppies and kitties, you know? So a lot of stuff you have to be careful, especially when you have a new puppy or a cat. Um, things are not as safe on them because they're so little and so fragile, so she's turning whiter! Let me ask you a question. Why can't you just go into the store and buy 99 cent shampoo and have you done with it? Because then our dogs would look like they have looked in the past six months. They look like a lion in a lion's bed in a, in a zoo. They look horrible and their, her fur was falling out. Her skin was bothering her. Conditioner! If you guys could smell it in here, it smells so good. I don't smell dog anymore. Everybody would come into our house and they'd say, you have two dogs? And I'd say, yeah. They'd say, well, it doesn't smell like you have dogs. I'm like, yeah. It's the stuff I use, I'm telling you. It takes the funk right out of the monkeys. You have to brush your puppy dog's teeth too, peeps. So I have a baby toothbrush. It's the soft bristles because you don't want to hurt their gums. And I use the Arm & Hammer one. I wish a spring made one, but I'd use it if they did. And the ear cleaners, don't forget to clean your ears. And if they make it so easy, it's a little wipe. There's no alcohol in it, so it won't hurt the little ears. I also use this on the girls, which helps me detangle them. There's the Kathy. She always has itchy eyeballs. So when we give her a bath, this is what she does, right? You look like Albert Einstein. This is the gizzard all done. Look at her. And she smells so wonderful. Look, all the yellow, most of it gone because we haven't used it for, you know, it's the first time we've used it in a while. Um, but her skin feels good. She feels good. You feel good, gizzard? And she you feel smells good? amazing. Now it's the dupe's turn. Well, the next one is a cane in the behind. And she doesn't listen as well as the other one. See? 
So we're gonna fast forward this one. And that's it, right? I want to show you the paw bomb too. I do this after their bath. Uh, it protects their feet from, you know, like your dog's feet get dry and they crack and it can cause, it could be really painful to your dogs. So I use this and it protects them from like the cold. If you take them out in the cold, it'll crack their feet, uh, rocks, all that stuff. And we've been in a lot of really rugged terrain so this stuff is amazing you do have to be careful that you don't overuse it if you overuse it you can make their feet too soft and with if you're on rugged terrain it'll tear them up so you have to just use things in moderation this stuff has helped with boo-boos and things that they've had um, it's cleared them up with no itchy no issues and it's got um, sweet almond oil aloe oil uh, arnica it's got a whole bunch of stuff in it this is amazing too this also helps neutralize odors funky taco smells and it also prevents tangles and I just like the smell hey peeps now you know exactly what I use on my girls from their teeth to their toes to their ears let me know in the comments below what you guys use if you use the same stuff or not and if you are interested in the stuff that I've used in the video, you can go to Esprit.com and check out their products that they have. They've got a whole slew. And you guys know what to do. Lagos and Cheryl, you know you'll find us funny.